Hi there, hope you are doing great today. So it seems like the people of this channel, you are interested in the gear I use to create the tracks around here. And uh, for the last year, it's been AMD based. It's a uh, Ryzen 9 CPU, 3900X, the first CPU that AMD released. Uh, you can now also get the 3900XT, which is a little bit uh, more uh, refined, if you will, a little bit faster and maybe a little bit cooler, but I don't think there are too much differences there. And of course, we are also going to get the new CPUs from AMD in a few months as well. And it would be interesting to see the differences there and I will probably maybe buy it. We will see how much it will cost. So in this video, it's going to be kind of a two parter. The first part here now, after you have been watching my face uh, enough, it's going to be me showing the uh, task manager, showing the CPU load. When I play back this finished project, everything is finished, it's mastered and it's ready to go. And uh, just show you how the CPU uh, response to all of the instruments. Just quickly going to go through the instruments and show you what I have there. And uh, the uh, second part, I'm actually going to go through the project and uh, yeah, show you some of the instruments and how I uh, made this project. So the first part here is going to be performance-wise, probably the first thing you're interested in. And the second part is going to be more about the actual track. So let's just click here and see if this works. Uh, here we have Ableton Live and we have our CPU CPUs here. And uh, it's in Norwegian, but uh, that's fine. So here we have a project. We have a few tracks here and we begin with a kick, some uh, hi-hats here with some uh, glue compressor and some Saturn from FabFilter uh, with the high quality preset. And if we go down there, we have glue, nothing here, nothing here, and nothing here. Then we have some uh, leads and uh, plugs here. It's a group where I also use some saturation from a fab filter. Actually, I'm going to turn on high quality. I didn't do that. Let's see here. Turn on high quality on, on Saturn. And uh, yeah, here we have Serum using a patch. Uh, no much unison here, so uh, you no nothing special there. Two X, nothing special really. Some uh, delay, EQ, and uh, again serum here. And we have a diva. Uh, this patch is pretty uh, demanding, so I have turned on multicore here, and accuracy here is on great. And uh, we have actually this free VST, T-Force Alpha Plus, with some effects, glue, and uh, some Valhalla Shimmer here, and some, yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of, actually, there's a lot of plugins on each and every tra track here. I, do, I guess you understand. You Sometimes you have some delay, sometimes you have some saturation, you know, it's, uh, it's just the way it is. So the project itself, it's in 48 kilohertz, I think. Yeah, 48 kilohertz. It's uh, 256 samples and I'm using ASO drivers, using the Fireface drivers. And the computer itself, I use the, I think it's the latest BIOS and no overclocking. And I use uh, the DOCP memory uh, settings. Just this, you go into BIOS and you select DOCP and it's just standard memory stuff. So if I go and play this now, we can take a watch at the CPU meter.
so as you can see here, the the uh, usage was around 22-23% and it didn't go over that mark. And uh, this is not really a huge project, but it's just a basic, uh, pretty nice little sounding track. And I also noticed that some of the CPUs here had some high load processor 14 and some of the CPU cores, uh, I think it was eight. So in addition with the RME Fireface interface I use, I, I have been using this system for about a year now and I have been having no issues with uh, music production using uh, AMD systems. It's been working pretty good and as you could hear you didn't hear any crackle or noise or anything in the sound. It uh, works, just works, works fine. Uh, the only problem I've been having is when I used another audio interface from Focusrite. They are usu usually pretty good, but I uh, actually had some stability issues using uh, Focusrite uh, audio interface. So, uh, but with the Fireface and with the AMD system here and using stock settings, it just works without any issue at all. I'm having, I'm having no, no problems. And uh, I just wanted to tell you one thing here. As you can see here in the CPU meter, here, it's actually the CPU 14 is high now. And that's probably because I am recording this video using OBS. So this uh, affected the results. I think that all of the cores were pretty the same load. So it also looks like Ableton Live is able to spread the load over all the different cores. So I know that Ableton Live supports 64 cores and uh, but it of course it depends on how you lay lay out your tracks and uh, especially if you use uh, instruments like for example diva make sure you turn on for example multicore here and things like that and uh, things uh, should work uh, pretty good so that's the uh, performance part of the video and now I just want to go through the track musically and uh, just show you what I have done here. So as for uh, melody, the melody is uh, from uh, Cthulhu or Cthulhu. I used that to create the melody and I did some changes to it tr and try to make it sound as good as possible. And uh, this was kind of the main hook I came up with. And uh, yeah, it sounds like this. There is a basic melody. It's uh, nothing uh, really complicated, but I think it works. It's happy and uh, it's uh, yeah, I like it. But um, you need something else in addition to the melody, and uh, I'm I wasn't sure what I wanted to have. I wanted to have kind of a bass line, but not not a bass line, but a, a arpeggio, but in the lower lower mids. So I added this one, and this is actually being played by a free synthesizer from T-Force Alpha Plus. You can download it yourself, just Google it and you can find it. So in addition, it with the uh, leads and plucks, it sounds pretty nice. So there you actually have the trans melody. It's just if I get this down, it's I'm basically done with the track. It's it's this that uh, I uh, want to get uh, as good as possible. And then we have an add-on melody. In addition to that, we have a few add-on melodies. Actually, I have uh, this uh, thing. Then I have another melody coming in under that again. So 
so that's the melody part. I think that's the most important part of the track. And as for instruments and things like that, it's uh, it's just the basic things everyone use. It's a uh, serum uh, synthesizer here. And uh, this is one patch from uh, Splice. It's uh, from uh, Steve Aoki, maybe? Sounds like this. Nothing really, really special. I have been trying to also uh, uh, reduce the volume here, so I, so the volume out to the other plugins here is not that high. So uh, gain staging then. Uh, and again, I'm being uh, adding a delay here and some EQing here, taking off the low end and uh, then LFO, LFO tool to duck it a little bit. And then we layer another synthesizer here from Serum on top of that also a uh, patch from uh, this guy and uh, with some EQing some delay LFO tool and some compression and again take off low end and all of the instruments they are also on mostly t uh, 2x here so nothing crazy there and then we have Diva Diva using this uh, patch, multicore on, and uh, using uh, a multiband compression here, OT, some uh, regular compression, some EQing, and uh, some uh, effects from Valhalla Shimmer, just to give it some more reverb. And uh, I just wanted the reverb on one of the synthesizers. I had tried to have reverb on these as well but it, that didn't sound uh, good at all so uh, I just removed the re reverb and had it on only on this diva synth because I think it, that sounded the best and then I grouped everything together and then I put some uh, saturation on it not that much just uh, some warm transformer sound here and uh, sends then some multiband compression on that and the layer together with the uh, trans arpeggio here sounds pretty good Then I wanted uh, to have some melodies in addition to that. I like that. This is the uh, one thing that uh, Orian Nilsson is doing. My uh, Norwegian, uh, not my counterpart. I, I don't compare myself to him. He is way up there. I am down here. But uh, yeah, he kind of have these melodies playing along. So if I turn on here now. And again, these melodies are some of my favorite patches. Uh, actually, I have one here I have just made myself. It's called Biokib Drone. It's actually a drone patch, and for some reason I'm using 16 unison on, <laughs> on both of these. Okay, well, it worked fine. And I'm having uh, quite a lot of effects on this one. I'm using Decapitator. That's kind of a saturation plugin. And then I'm using actually a saturation plugin on that again and EQing, taking off some of the low end and increasing around 6 kilohertz. Then some Valhalla Shimmer here, a compression, LFO tool, and a utility here, and where I increase the stereo image to get this wider sound 
then I have another layer playing the same melody I'm using Spire and I'm actually using a patch from a, a guy called Norden I bought it, a f- bought it a few years ago so it's called Lead 33 TF and uh, I like it just like it then we have the add-on melody here I just added it and uh, it's just a thing that to make it sound a little bit more interesting it's just some patches from Spire here it's actually the same patch but with, with some different EQ settings it looks like maybe I've done some changes to it as well so we crashed let's try again where were we we were at my add-on melody here and let's see if it works now then and see if everything is working here So you have this kind of sounds maybe a little bit boring by itself but when you have some stuff going around in the track gives it a nice effect and have some automation on it then again on the cutoff and detune And in addition to rest here. So that's the add-on melody. It's being played by uh, Spire and uh, Spire. And even the same patch, actually. And uh, then we have some strings uh, type of stuff here. I didn't have a lot of pads and a lot of uh, things like that. And some kind of piano work here. Just sounds a little bit strange. Yeah. And that's being played by Massive, the string thing here. Just a Massive X patch. And then we have uh, some contact uh, instruments playing the piano piano stuff here. Using Fab Filter, Delay, Valhalla, Shimmer, and then Fab Filter, uh, some delay and compression. Then I use the MOG synthesizer I have behind me here and now we are going into the bass territory and uh, take a look. So this is re- so this is recorded from the synthesizer. I'm I am adjusting the cutoff and uh, multi drive while I'm recording this just to try to give it some more life, if you will. But uh, And then it has a LFO tool, fab filter, uh, EQ, so uh, actually not doing anything. Okay, oh well. <laughs> Sometimes you forget. Let's just turn on the kick. So yeah, that's just one one of the layers, and then I have this uh, bass group. It sounds like this. We can actually we can go here. So the bass group is uh, consists of actually two synthesizers. We have a diva here, FM bass patch. And I actually have delay on the bass because I th- think it sounded great. So if I turn on the delay here, it just sounds, I think it sounds great. And then we have another bass line here being played by Serum, just something I made myself. Uh, it sounds good. And then I'm using some saturation on it here. Some EQing here. Take off the low end. So that's the bass. 
it go, goes into a group where I uh, filter the uh, the audio below 170 hertz to mono using the utility here. Then I use the capitator and I use Pro L just to compress it a little bit. So I want the baseline to be one fat kind of sausage, <laughs> if you would see it in an audio waveform. That's why I'm using the Fab Filter Pro L here, just to try to squish it together a little bit. And it works pretty good. So, uh, so you have a consistent volume of the bass throughout the entire track, if you want. Uh, because if you play different notes, you can have a, you can get a different type of uh, amplitude on the audio. So uh, that's uh, one reason I am doing that. And then I have a drone here and it just sounds like this. I'm using a LFO tool on it, so I'm ducking it to the kick. It sounds like this. And that's basically the track. It has a melody I'm pretty happy with and we have some just some loops here, kick and uh, hi-hats and just some snares and some uh, FX snares here just to make it sound a little bit cooler. And that's basically the track. And um, on the master bus here I have uh, a utility where I increase the stereo width to about 106 and I filter the bass below 103 hertz and then I use uh, Saturn from Fab Filter use uh, saturate and color preset I'm not using that much drive 20% uh, and gentle saturation and then I'm using this uh, mix centric from waves I'm just using it on this PC because I have it installed and I have the license here. I won't be able to use it if I reinstall my PC because I have lost the license and uh, I I I think I really like the sound uh, from uh, from this plugin. It works really well, but I'm not sure if I'm going to buy it again because the licensing from Waves is it's just a pain in the yeah and then i use fab filter l2 on the end here just to increase the volume and uh, just make everything sound loud <laughs> So yeah, that's some performance uh, information on how a finished track works on the Ryzen 9 3900X CPU, the original one uh, released when it was uh, released. And the other part of this video shows you just a little bit how I produced the track, show a little bit about the inst instrumentation and plugins and everything around that. Uh, the track is called Never Stop, and that's what I'm planning to. I plan to never stop, and I'm just going to create and see where we end up. 
If you like the stuff I make, you will find it uh, eventually on Spotify, but you will also mostly find the tracks uh, first on my personal website, and the link is in the description below this video. You will also find some templates on that site if you want to kind of uh, download a template and uh, see uh, how I do things and try it yourself in, in Ableton Live. So. Check out uh, the link below to my website and you can find some information there. If you like stuff like this, I appreciate a subscribe to the channel and you can also click the bell there to get notified when I release videos. Just being a subscriber doesn't really work uh, to get notified, I have found, so clicking the bell works. If you're interested, you're also welcome to support on Patreon and uh, the other places I have linked below. So I hope you liked this video and I will see you in the next one. Take care and goodbye.